Before I replay this video for you guys, I just want you to know that this meat slicer is only $80. Never buy lunch meat from the deli again. I'm gonna show you how to save money by making it at home. We will start by making a brine that the chicken will sit in overnight. Dump in some kosher salt, whole peppercorns, and some garlic powder into a small pot of water. Once everything's dissolved, we're gonna introduce this mixture into a bigger container of water, which is just about a gallon. Now let's add in the curing salt. Make sure to read the directions, because curing salt can be dangerous if you don't use it correctly. You can also do this without using the curing salt at all. And now just put in your chicken breast. I'm just doing four pieces, and I'm going to let this chill covered overnight in the fridge. Now keep in mind that a brine can be any flavor that you like. The most important part of a brine is the ratio of salt to water and sometimes sugar even though we didn't put it in this time. If you're adding curing salt to your brine, make sure to wash it off after you've brined your chicken. This is most important with a dry brine, but you might as well just do it for both wet and dry. To prep for cooking your meat, grab your favorite seasoning. I'm using the mild spice mix from Nyjah Grill. I'll tag that account just in case you want to buy some. I would normally just sous vide this meat to cook it, but since I know some of you guys are going to yell at me that you don't have all those kitchen tools. I'm going to sous vide two of them and then I'm just gonna simply bake the other two. So no excuses if you don't have any fancy kitchen gadgets. Lunch meat itself is generally cooked to a lower temperature. That's what gives you the texture that you get. Cooking to 145 will give you a very soft and juicy meat so we're gonna do that in the sous vide. And cooking to 160 will give you juicy but firm and we're gonna do that in the oven. Once your meat is cooked let it come to room temperature and then put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. This is gonna make it easier to slice. Okay, we've now got our baked chicken and we've got our sous vide chicken. And you guys will notice that even sous vide chicken is my preference for sandwich meat. There's not that big of a difference. And again, I'm showing you guys what it looks like to cut it with a regular knife so that I don't get yelled at for using my meat slicer. You do get smaller pieces when you cut it this way, but if you have a really sharp knife, you can cut really thin slices. And I'm gonna use my meat slicer to cut the rest of the chicken. I like the big, really thin slices, but in the end, you can get more bang for your buck by making your own sandwich meat. You can do this with turkey as well. Bon appetit, let me know if you'll try it.